Uh, hey guys, BD Delta Fan 101, and today I'm doing the uh, video on the DM12. Um, basically, changing all the modes or certain modes on the DM12. Uh, it's going to be basically the same thing for any other DM, but this is going to give you a little overview on how to do it and how easy it is. So, first off, you got to take off your grips. Um, these are toolless grips here, the sticky grips, whatever you want to call them. Uh, they're kind of, I have a hard time taking them off sometimes, but um, after you get used to it, it's not too bad. So, as you can see, you see the little red, uh, little red system right here. Uh, both say on. Now, reason being is that's how you change your modes. Uh, if this one should always be on right there, the first one, uh, it should always be up. The second one should be down when you've gotten all your modes selected and you're done. But if you want to end up changing your modes, you flick that up, and that allows you to enter in a programming mode. So, as you can see, I'm going to turn the marker on, and it cycles through a bunch of different colors. Uh, sorry, I'll do a, I'll do that again just so you can see. Apparently, it's not going to let me. Okay. Anyways, whatever. I guess you have to exit programming mode now that it's been turned on. But to cycle through your modes, um, you use the trigger. So you got green, red, blue, and yellow, and you're back to green. So there's only four different things you can change on the DM. Green is trigger sensitivity, but yeah, whatever. Red is dwell. Blue is rate of fire, yellow is firing mode, and then you got back to your trigger sensitivity. So I'm not going to bother changing that, that's not that important. Um, it obviously just makes it more sensitive or um, harder to click and stuff. Uh, red, dwell, i um, not going to bother changing that either, but the stock dwell out of the box is 18 milliseconds, I believe. Um, blue, rate of fire, this is something I think is important, so I'll show you how it works. Um, it can be customized from 9.8 balls per second all the way to 33.3. Um, it's kind of weird the way that the rate of fire works on the DM12. It kind of uh, doesn't go up by solid numbers. It goes up by like, you know, point, whatever. Um, example being that uh, you could have 11.76 balls per second, which would be 15 clicks. Or you could have 22 or 12.82 balls per second, which is 22. I usually have it set on 12.5 PSP, which is uh, 20 clicks. So um, I'll give you an example. If you hold this down, I think this will show you how many clicks there is. Oops. If you hold this down, it'll show you how many clicks there is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So that shows how many clicks there is. 20 clicks is 12.5. And after it's done clicking, you can type in your own setting, uh, whatever you want it to be. I'll do 15.4, so that's 35 clicks, <laughs> so it's a lot. So I'll just do that, I'm not going to count it out. There you go, and then it'll go flash, and it has changed it. So that should be 35 clicks, which is 15.4 balls per second, which is basically the CXBL mode that I play. Or I used to play, and now I'm mostly just woods ball. But uh, I had a season where I played that, and it's 15.4 ramping. It was pretty fun. So yeah, um, now we'll change the rate of fire, which is yellow. We'll click it. It'll show us what the settings at. One, two, three, which is ramping, and we're gonna change it to um, we're gonna change it to semi-automatic, which is value one. So one click, boom, 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 goes through its cycling. And it's changed it. So now we have semi-auto at uh, semi-auto at 15.4, well, 15.38 balls per second. Um, I'm going to turn off configuration mode for a sec. Um, I'll show you how to do so. Get some sort of a pen or something, and click down on second button. Press down so it's off, and boom. Now you're into normal mode. As you can see, put your eyes in or put your finger in the breach. Works. So uh, we're going to turn the eyes off. Oh, sorry, I just turned it off. Turn the eyes off. Flashes, meaning the eyes are off. And you can hear it cycle, see? It's semi-auto only, you can't go into ramping. So yeah. Um, now we're going to change it back to PSP 12.5, just in case you didn't get it. So... 
We're going to flick the switch again back upwards to change it. There. Now we're going to turn it on. And we enter programming mode again. Flashes through its cycle. Oops, sorry, I'm out of focus here. And uh, we're going to change it back to PSP. So blue, like I said, is rate of fire. Um, instead of, actually, I don't know, I think I might keep it at 15.4 for now. Oh, well, actually, no, it's a little too fast, so I'll definitely change it back to 20 clicks. Uh, this is going to take a while because it's going to show all 35 clicks, so I'll just hold it here for a moment. Boom, ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom. And 20 clicks, like I said, is uh, PSP 12.5, so we're going to go back to that. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we're back to 12 and a half. I'm going to go back to PSP mode. 1, 2, 3, that's PSP. And everything should be good now. Um, we'll exit programming mode. Do this one last time, just so you guys get a good solid idea how to do it. And now it's back to regular mode. And there's PSP 12.5. So yeah, turn it off, and basically that's all there is to it. It's a very simple way of doing it. All the only hard part I actually find is putting the grips on. Go figure. But yeah, that's it guys. Thank you for watching this video. This is going to be the 300th video uploaded on our channel. Uh, thank you for all the support. Your subscribers are growing. It's pretty sweet. Uh, me and Alex appreciate it a lot. It's awesome seeing the channel grow from what it used to be. Um, so yeah, that's my video guys. Thank you for watching. And one thing I do want to mention is Alex and I, we are not brothers. We are friends. We partnered up a few months ago. And that's pretty much all there is to it. We're definitely not brothers. I don't know why people always think we're brothers, but I don't know. Anyways, I hope that clears it up. Uh, thank you for watching.